Welcome back. Staying active is an important part of a healthy lifestyle, of course, especially as we change the calendar. Tomorrow's May, and we keep getting older and older. Gunnarsson Wellness Education Specialist Shana Schertz is here to help us stay fit. Good morning, Shana. Good morning. So May is Older Americans Month. You have some tips for us. Why, again, is it so important to stay active and at least 30 minutes a day people are suggesting still? Yeah, so May is Older Americans Month, and what it is is it's a national observance to remind people to stay active at any age and continue to stay active throughout their lives. So um, you're never too late to, to start an activity or to keep going. So yes, 30 minutes for aerobic activity a day is ideal, and that's choosing something that you really enjoy, whether that be swimming, biking, walking, going to the gym, getting out amongst others, as long as you're going to stick with it, I think that's the most important um, part of an exercise routine. Yeah, I, th I think it's important there. You mentioned walking. It can be as simple yeah. as that, getting up and, and taking a walk outside, enjoying some of the beautiful weather that we've seen lately. Now, how, how, how does it help? I mean, it, are there any examples that you've seen of, of people who have maybe not exercised in the past, started a small uh, workout routine like this and, and seen results? It's a good question. So it just depends on the person, the activity that you're doing. As we age, our um, muscles start to deteriorate. So really keeping up with um, strengthening exercises is important as, just as important as walking. So strengthening exercises should be done two to three days a week, focusing on whole body, but really it's more about than a about physical health. It's about mental and emotional health as well as just your physical health. Um, balancing exercises as we age is also important because the risk of falling does increase due to medications, um, changes in vision, and then as well as stretching because we really do lose flexibility as we age if we don't continue to stretch every single day. Is there a certain age that you suggest people start to really hone in on this? I mean, as a woman, I think about, you know, osteoporosis. I think about the strengthening of the bones. Do you suggest any type of, you know, age or type of person that should really be focusing on this? No, not a specific age. I think a lot of times as we age, we start to do less. And I think that's kind of the opposite. We should be doing more. And it doesn't need to be more difficult work just um, continuing with our routines and gentle movement to really um, help us age healthy. All right, and of course we gotta mention you can still get involved with uh, Gunderson Health's uh, fitness initiative, Minutes in Motion, uh, that's going on for a couple more weeks. Shana, we thank you for joining us this morning. 